Hi guys, Jen here from Ain't and Such and Such and Be Scented. I am getting ready to test some fragrances. This one, um, I'm really sick, so I'm sorry. This one is a cherry pomegranate scent. Now, um, it's not going to be one that we carry. It was a custom blend for somebody, but I just thought you guys might want to watch the video, so. I'm recording it. So, I'm doing the heat transfer, and I'm just getting my lye mixed up. So this is just my hard oils. We're just gonna blend, blend, blend. Just get everything melted. And then we'll add the soft oils and go from there. Now, where cherry is in here, a lot of times cherry scents discolor. So I'm going to leave part of it uncolored and um, I'll maybe do an, a swirl of pink or something just to see. I'm doing several batches that's why you see other oils back there but I'll do separate videos just so it's not so long. So once this is melted I'll bring you back. Okay I've just got a teeny tiny piece that's not completely melted which it will be when I hit the stick blender so I'm going to add in my liquid oils I'm going to add in my powders Them stirred in. All right. Give it a little burst with the stick blender to disperse everything. and add the fragrance. Mm, it smells really good. It's really clear. There was no racing. really nice so I'm gonna pour off some for a pink swirl because I think that'll look nice and then I'm gonna just leave the rest uncolored because <coughs> um, I just think so. And I'm going to test while I'm doing this. I've got, I have some new colors that I need to test for us possibly carrying them. So this is a purple. So I'll just add that in there. So that will look nice. Well, looky there, there, it's stiffening up a little. Um, just a little bit of ricing. Um, nothing bad. So let's see. Yeah. 
some colors you can easily hand stir in. Oops. That's a gorgeous color. But I'll give it just a little buzz. But look how pretty that is. These little one pounders is the best to test colors because when you get a color sample, um, it's just a tiny, tiny amount. It's not like you can, um, color, you know, a whole bunch. Let's see if I can't loosen this up. See how me stick blending that, um, loosened that up. I had a feeling when I did that color that if I stick blended that a little bit, it would loosen it up. <clears throat> so I'm just going to go ahead and get it in. Do like a drop swirl. I mean, other than the initial kind of like ricing up on me, it's behaving well. Not too shabby. I got some color on my spatula. I'm gonna wipe it off. So this is a cherry pomegranate. I got several different um, blends in and I picked the one that I thought smelled the best because, um, you know, I just picked which one I thought smelled the best. And it was this one. So you know, worst case, and it didn't work out, um, I had other ones to test. But this one seemed to do okay. I don't think I'm going to put any glitter on it. Just going to leave it like it is. And I'll bring you guys back. For the cutting. I am back to cut my soap. Now, <clears throat> it has been a week since I've made this soap. So it's actually pretty hard. And I really, you can see this, how dark it is. I really hope I didn't wait too long. Let's see. I have been just so busy. Um, I've not had a chance to cut these soaps. Oh, that's okay. But you can definitely see the discoloration there. Look at you. May not be any swirl in the soap by the time it all discolors. But it's okay. It was just a tester. Mommy, he spit it out and he said no. I see. Watch him. Watch him, Mommy. Well, spar. That is so neat. <laughs> Alright guys, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.